the planetary boundaries are the uh, outer limits of change to the Earth system that we think is tolerable to maintain good conditions for civilization. In Earth's history, we know there was a very stable period called the Holocene that ran from 11,700 years ago to about 100 years ago. And during the Holocene, uh, a lot of great things for civilization happened. In fact, all of the major civilizations of every continent, Asia, Europe, Africa, North and South America, all of those emerged during the Holocene. Agriculture developed during the Holocene. So we know that the Holocene was a really good period for civilization, and for that reason it seems desirable to try to maintain those conditions. Now it might be possible for civilization to live outside Holocene conditions, but we don't know that. It's never been tried before. We know civilization can make it in Holocene conditions, so it seems wise to try to maintain those conditions. The paper concludes that we have crossed already four planetary boundaries. So climate is out of bounds, um, uh, biodiversity extinction is out of bounds, we're losing too many species, uh, and nitrogen and phosphorus are out of bounds. There are places on Earth where we're using vastly more phosphorus and nitrogen than we need, and other places on Earth where we're not using enough. So we really need to to move our phosphorus and nitrogen use around the planet so that the deficient areas are getting enough and that the over enriched areas are getting just the right amount. So we're not talking about ending the use of nitrogen and phosphorus, we're talking about moderating it and um, distributing it more appropriately to human needs. Wisconsin, for example, is a, uh, uh, is a massively over-enriched part of the planet. We use far more phosphorus and nitrogen than we need in Wisconsin, and we pay the price in pollution uh, and also in just spending more on fertilizers than, uh, than, than we need to spend. So Wisconsin is a place where we could moderate. Uh, an example of a place that is uh, phosphorus deficient is uh, Africa. A lot of those soils are very poor in, uh, in, in phosphorus and uh, they, they could stand uh, uh, to, to have more there. But there are places that are phosphorus deficient much closer to home. Uh, there are places in North America with phosphorus deficient soils where we could ship our phosphorus and it could be productively used. Our main message for policymakers is that there are some hard edges out there and we better be careful not to cross them. Um, there, we do have some uncertainties about the edges. I mentioned that this paper is an update. It's improved uh, science over what was available five or six years ago. In five or six years in the future, the science will be even better better than it is now, and we'll probably publish another update uh, at, at that time. So uh, scientists are helping by trying to clarify where the boundaries are and trying to clarify what we can do about it, and policymakers need to do their part and realize that we need to navigate civilization through these hard boundaries if we're going to maintain the only conditions that we know uh, enable civilization to flourish on the planet.